Okay, so today I'm going to teach you guys how to pretty much start on Java program. Let's uh, start with the basic, basics. <coughs> so, public class is your file name, you can uh, name it anything you want, let's say rum rum and Java standards usually states that your class name should be capitalized, that's the only thing that is capitalized so make sure you don't do anything else <laughs> Your public, that's your access. Static, that's your method. Void, that means this does not return a value. And main is... Ah, we'll get to that later. So, now I'm going to do all those curly... Curly cur cool braces. Which are fun. And then I'm going to save my file name. Just... Go to file, save as, and you have to have it the same as your class name. Rum rum. Oops, sorry. <laughs> See, so now that it all it's all working, you should have nice looking blue collar. Dum dum. Rum rum, dum dum, I want some gum gum, anything is going. Okay, so today we'll do a basic uh, star printing. Okay, so pretty much for this one you have to know uh, a little bit about Java. You have to know for loop, what's a for loop. So you're going to make a for loop. And first let's declare our integer. Uh, Let's call it int size size equals to nine. All right, we ended with a semicolon. For i equals int i because we have to declare and i equals zero semicolon. I is less than or equal to size semicolon I plus plus and this simply means that you're gonna increment I every time that the second for loop is gonna run oh so instead of uh, int I you're gonna declare int J equals zero right now so that my column and j will be less than or equal to the size and you're gonna increment j as well and there you go gotta finish it so now comes the fun part Yay. Yeah, I have some applause here. So, what I want to do right now pretty much for every time that this for loop runs I want to make a start in this for loop. So we're going to do that using system dot out dot print well, print a print line and you're going to print a star Let's see what happens Ah oh, yeah And yeah, I didn't close that. 
should pull that. And I should do assist. Uh, uh, and line. And that's just gonna make a new line. Ugh. Oh, sorry. I'm a bit shaky with Java. Okay, let's see what happens. See, so now, since we don't have any conditions, it's just gonna create a block of code. So, we should throw in an if statement there. Which would be cool. So, let's say for example. How should we start? If. <laughs> just one second, I'm thinking. If. Yeah, you okay? If j, if i is less than j, j, no, if i equals equals j, curly braces, Watch and learn, buddy. Watch and learn. Maybe you should learn first. What's that? Maybe you should learn first. Oh, <laughs> no. Why should I? I'm okay. So there you go, and now you get your X. That was fun. That was fun. Have fun. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>